able to do an interview with a Spanish-speaking farm worker. I was home and happy to help out. Back in June, I started working on a story about migrant farm workers and how the COVID-19 pandemic might be affecting them. And after a couple of weeks of reporting, I really, I realized I really wanted to be able to have a farm worker's voice in the story. And I wasn't having a lot of luck. A lot of the, the people that I reached out to said it can be hard to get them to talk to journalists because they don't want to do anything that might affect their work in any way. Some of them are undocumented, some of them are on temporary visas. I had been searching for probably about two weeks and one Saturday morning I woke up to a text from a worker with an advocacy group and she said, I found a farm worker that's willing to talk to you. His name is Saul and he's available tonight at 8 p.m. He only speaks Spanish. I translated a bunch of questions that Victoria had um, previously come up with for him. And then at 8 p.m. we did the interview over WhatsApp. Saul, a 52-year-old temporary farm worker, wrote that he has traveled from Mexico to Virginia every year since 1996 to harvest tobacco. He said masks are uncomfortable on the job because he's working outdoors in the hot weather. He also said while he does worry about coronavirus, because he lives at his job on the farm with just a few other workers, he feels safe. As his messages would come in, I would translate them for Victoria and then she would decide um, where she wanted to go next with the interview. So it ended up working out really well. 